Carefully open your MyCO2 box from the top as shown. You will find a bag with a black clip inside. Grab the clip and lift it out of the box. Notice the white fungal growth along the top edge of the bag. That is mushroom mycelium. Below it there's a black clip. We're going to go ahead and remove it. We will be spawning the sterile substrate on the opposite side of the clip with the mycelium without actually opening the bag to begin the decomposition cycle and its subsequent CO2 production. As you can see here, I'm working the mycelium, also known as spawn, and the seeds it was grown on down into the sterile substrate. I do this by pulling the bag apart and making space for the spawn to tumble down while kneading at the mycelium and the seeds, gently breaking them up as they fall. As you can see here, the white mushroom spawn is sitting on top of the sterile substrate. That is perfect. We're going to take a little bit of it and work it beneath the surface. This kind of helps it grow inside as well as on the outside, which is important so we can monitor it as it recovers. Congratulations, your MyCO2 is activated. It takes five to seven days for the CO2 production to begin. So right now we're gonna use the box to safely hang the bag in your garden. Turn your box around and open the trap door. Place your box on its face with the trap door opening up. With the bag's filter patch facing what is normally the bottom of the box, slide it inside and pull the top section through the trap door until the filter patch is outside the opening. Now close the trap door while holding the bag as shown. Your MyCO2 is now set for CO2 generation in the garden. Within seven days, the mycelium should begin to grow and produce CO2. If you just want to grow mushrooms at home, you can skip opening the trap door for now and simply place the bag back into the box after activating. Close the top and you're set. Here we are one week later. I'm checking on the growth to make sure the MyCO2 has recovered. As you can see, the mycelium is recovering nicely. It's decomposing the substrate and producing CO2 as it should.